Okay, um, I'm going to quickly show how uh, portal uh, trending works. Uh, this was not available in the classic uh, software, so just add a new trace. Uh, pick your signals uh, from your PLC program. Uh, this is for tracing PLC tags. Uh, some of the choices are different when you uh, do trending of motion tags. So I'm just going to pick a couple of internal clocks just so we can see them. Then you, uh, in this case, we're going to pick 20,000 samples. Uh, every 10 cycles and that's the OB1 cycle is what uh, I'm using here uh, I'm going to tell it to trigger on a tag just again use the clock cycle so it'll trigger on the rising edge I don't have a memory card in the processor So it's just going to save it to its own internal memory. Download that trend. Start the trend. Now it's going to load the trend back up to the PC to uh, view. Uh, the thing to remember here is that trends are actually kept in the PLC. You don't have to be connected. Once you set them up and download them, the trends will uh, uh, fire off by themselves in the PLC whenever the trigger happens so you can use it to catch events when you're not around then connect up and read the trend and see um, you know the events that you uh, were looking for so that's uh, that's nice and convenient especially if it's something that only happens once a day or once a month or something you can't sit there for a month with your computer on the sitting on the PLC, so that's a simple overview.